Broski, why do you got a basket on your head? Buddy, because I lost the challenge. <laughs> Today on WBTV, not only does Blake have a basket on his head because he lost the Easter challenge. Hey, the fan not only cools us, but it gives the Easter grass a little like texture, shimmering, shimmering effect. They're like blown. We're gonna be talking about some of our favorite podcasts that we listen to, and maybe you should take a listen to them too. Whoa! If you want to see more skits and great conversations, help us out on our road to 100 subscribers and click that subscribe button below. Recently, well not recently, Blake got into podcasts like a few months ago. Well, when you started with the Ryan Higa podcast. Well, no, not necessarily. Technically, I've always watched this show for like the last year or like last couple of months. Yeah. I watched a show on YouTube, but it's also technically they've converted into the form of a podcast yeah and then yeah the ryan higa podcast and i've known about i've used to watch every single episode of the h3h3 podcast yeah for like the first 25 episodes but yeah. then they started posting like three episodes a week and i couldn't yeah. i was like i'm out for me it was like at the Brent Butt came out with his The Butt Pod mm -hmm. podcast when I was in like grade the 8. Butt pod. But then when I was in grade 8, I didn't really walk home. So I didn't go through the episodes very much. But then as soon as I started walking home in grade 9, I started listening to podcasts. And then I started listening to Ear Biscuits, which is Rent and Link's podcast. I started listening to Stop Podcasting Yourself with Graham Clark and Dave Shunka. And then I also got into Point vs. Point, which is one of the best podcasts. Um, but we'll talk about that more later. People say that podcast is like an outdated... Outdated? Well, people are like, it's just radio. It's just rec pre-recorded radio. I mean, we did a podcast on mm -hmm. WTV. And if you want to, you can click the playlist. I know you, like you can it? find it on podcasts. Yeah, right. Apple Podcasts, and you can find it on SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. You can find the Are You Smart Spell Out videos if you go into our videos and you scroll the way through. But, like, to be honest, we kind of pretended that, that, like, didn't happen. So I mean, it wasn't that bad, bad, but the podcast was, was the not podcast organized. The podcast was good. Like, the, the conversations that we had on the podcast mm -hmm. were always good. But it was just, like, except for the, the newest episode. <laughs> was that where we just did a Canadian accent? No, that was the one with Sam in the summertime. Don't listen to the newest <laughs> episode. It's not good. It's not good. And, like, there has been times before where I was, like, bored. Or I, we were, like, taking a few weeks off. And I was like, maybe I should record an episode of the podcast. So I think what we'll do here is Blake will talk about his two podcasts that I listen to. And then I'll talk about my two podcasts that I listen to. And Blake can also put his... Uh, his um his points in on point versus point because he's also listened to a few episodes of that a few th episodes I've played for him that are pretty hot. So without further ado, let's get into talking about podcasts. Oh! Okay, everyone. Now we are balancing the bucket on, on his head, head instead of wearing it as a hat. For those Do of you not who haven't tamper. seen the Easter egg, Easter egg, Easter egg, Dead by Daylight. Guys, there's a new Dead by Daylight video. Dead out. by Daylight. For those of you who haven't seen the Easter egg video, it is it's pretty great. And that's why Blake has to wear his basket on his head. Mm -hmm. It's punishment. So ha happy Easter also. Today yes, is Easter. Yes, happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Um, yeah, so Blake, what podcast do you listen to? You, you said you listen to H2H2 podcast. I, I used to. I used I to listen really... to a bit. I don't really listen to it anymore. I haven't listened to their most recent episodes, but they just started. Well, Ryan Higa like, did a proto test, proto test, prototype, and like a test on his YouTube channel to see how it went. And those aren't a part of the podcast. They were like the podcast before the podcast. But then they found a name with it, and they've got a good flow of guests, like celebrity guests, YouTuber guests, stuff like that. 
or they're on episode like 10, 11, 12, and I've seen episodes up to 8 and 9. But yeah, it's called Off the Pill Podcast, and it's like supposed to be since Ryan has ADHD, it's like him off the pill, and it's just him rambling and rambling and just talking about topics. And they have, like you said, like general topics, like they have like one topic they start off with, but yeah. then they just see where it goes. They just let it evolve from yeah. there. How, what would you rate that out of 10? Out of 10 rate stars? it out of 10? Like 1 to 10. 1 to 10? I'd say it's a solid like like 8. It's eight pretty good podcast. Eight yeah. um, so the, one of the... Po- <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> you can't get the basket on your head. One of the podcasts that I started listening to, my brother actually listened to it first and he suggested I listen to it. It is amazing. I would consider myself a full pea head at this moment. Uh, <laughs> I listened to a podcast called Point vs. Point, which is basically like there's these two guys, they play characters, Evan and Gareth, and um, th- their actual names are Evan, uh, Evan Mann and Gareth Reynolds, but they play up characters about like radical versions of themselves. And like, Very radical. The, the overlying storylines that this podcast has, the amount of work that it takes to like create like there's like a 12 to 20 episode segment where they move from their office to the roof and then they live in the sewer and then one of them (laughs) runs for the mayor of the sewer and then they get all the money from being the mayor of the sewer and now they're back out of the sewer it's like it's way too much and then like whenever they're in the sewer there's like water like droplets in the background of like the episode and like sewage flushing noises and stuff like that it's amazing i like like, my the funniest story and saga was like spicy a meatball. That's, a spicy. that's my now favorite. That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> the guy calls him. He's yeah. like, you can't use that. That's mine. I'm the spicy meatball man. Chippy. Chippy. Hey, Evan, it's Chippy. <laughs> spicy meatball guy. <laughs> I would rate it ten out of ten. The the only like you can't just start. I don't. No. Think. Yeah. You have to you go. You have to go back and listen to all the episodes. So I started in like September and I went back and I listened to all of the episodes and it took me like six months pretty much to get to where I am now, which is caught up. See, that's where I maybe don't put it at a 10 because that kind of like podcast is just, you can pick up an episode, you don't have to watch in order, you can just like listen to it whenever, just have a good listen. It's just leisurely, super like casual thing to do, but this like... It's like a whole series yeah. and a whole thing I mean, to start watching. You, you can pick up at specific spots, but you're going to miss certain jokes Certain jokes yeah. that they brought back from other points. Like, they're like, oh, at least we're not in the sewer. Like, you wouldn't, you'd be like, what the fuck? But they're like, really, they're like actually like talking about how they're not in the sewer. I'd probably give it like 9 out of 10. It's pretty great. It's uh, like super addicting. Like, you listen to, like, one episode, and then you gotta listen mm-hmm. to, like... Vroom, vroom, zoom. The next, like... And, like, each episode is only 30 minutes, Only though, 30 right? minutes, yeah. yeah. So it's pretty it's pretty easy. It's pretty bingeable. Yeah. Ear Biscuits is more if you're, like... If you watch GMM, and you just want to hear about, like, Red Link's, like, conversations. Mm. Like, Ear Biscuits is not necessarily, like, a comedy podcast. It's just them kind of talking about what they're doing in their life. Which I kind of find interesting. And then there's uh, Stop Podcast Yourself, which is kind of like Off the Pill Podcast. You know, they have guests. They're both Canadian comedians, so it gets gets pretty funny. And then most of the time, their guests are also comedians or famous people. Did they have Sean Majumber on there? I don't know if they've had him on there. They Sean Majumber. They've they've been doing Stop Podcast Yourself for over 12 years now. So there's like 800 episodes of Stop Podcast Yourself. But they're like two-hour episodes. And, see, but you, you can pick up and listen to any one of them. See, I have you beat, though. I have one of my... Like, it's my favorite podcast, but it's probably one of the worst podcasts that no <laughs> one would be interested in. Crazy. Average episode is three to five hours. <laughs> and so that's the bad part. Like, it takes the two bad parts, like, super long from, yeah. like you said... What was it? Stop podcasting yeah, yourself. Yeah. Super long. And like point versus point, you have to watch from the start and in chronological order oh because God. it's a story. They're, they're like playing They're <laughs> playing a game. They're portraying characters. Yeah, it's called Critical Role and it's a story where they go on an adventure and they have interactions and stuff like that. 
So they have like Sam Regal, Liam O'Brien, Laura Bailey, Travis Willingham, Marisha Ray, and like Matt Mercer. A lot of people know Matt Mercer because of he voiced like McCree. Yeah, McCree from Overwatch, you know. And then yeah, but they, they voiced like a ton CD of different there, people. Dude. Pardon? Do they have Pro Z D on there? I don't think they had Pro Z D uh, on there, no. But they had also one of the guest stars they had they've had Ezekiel on there, Ezekiel from The Walking Dead, Kari, I forget his last name, but Kari, they've had him on there twice since their second season, because they have a first series, which still with the theme of three to five hours average, yeah, with like a hundred episodes in the first series, yeah. but then they started anew with the second series, and the so second series only has 50 episodes. First season. No, yeah, you can... Wanted. The first season is a completely different story, completely different characters Same than the second, second season. So you can like choose which one you want to watch or start with. So, yeah. yeah. But the start of the first season, they started that like three years ago, four years ago. Yeah. I wouldn't mm -hmm. rate it that high of a pop. Like I rate it super high, but as in like other people, viewers watching it. Yeah, people were gonna it's like, listen to it's it. like four. Also the bot pod. For those of the you who watch, for those of you watch Corner Guys. Is that how it goes? You know, oh, okay, there you go. For those of you know uh, Brent Butt, who played Brent Lee on Corner Guys, he started his own podcast. Um, there's not very many episodes because like he's producing Corner Guys Animated right now, so he's kind of like, he doesn't really have to, a lot of time to do both. But like, you know, it's a, it's a good podcast. They, uh, He's very, they're very funny. I'm most, again, most of the time he has comedians on the podcast, which just makes it even more funny. Military Blake's over here is uh, <laughs> Bucket, Bucket Man Blake. Um, and check out the skit on Wednesday for a special Bucket Man Blake clip. Oh, uh, that will be now added into every single skit. Blake's just embraced this punishment, you know? I have. It started, it's with, true. It started with the punishment, now. Every episode of Time VTV, Blake, she's like, give me that bucket. No, <laughs> after I don't have to wear this anymore, it's, I'm getting rid of it. This imagine, thing hurts. Imagine if you had to wear that for the Infinity War review. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode of WVTV. We're going to, I'm going to go over the podcast again. If you want to listen, there's an H3 podcast, point versus point. Uh, Ear Biscuits, Stop Podcasting Yourself, Critical Role Podcast, and Off the Pill Podcast. Stitcher. Off the Pill and Critical Role and H3H3, I know they're also on YouTube as well. Yeah, most of them. Ear Biscuits is on YouTube. That, yeah. Uh, I don't think Stop Podcasting Yourself. Point versus Point did have a YouTube channel before the Ooh. show started, but then they switched to the audio because it was easier. So thank you guys for watching WB TV. Um, stay tuned. We are going to see Avengers in Endgame this Thursday, so there will be a full Avengers Endgame video this Friday. So if you guys are commenting on that Endgame video and you're wondering why we're not talking about it in the next video, that's because we're going to shoot next week's two videos as well, which then means that pretty much the videos after that are going to be shot as well as the Endgame video. It's going to mess, but if you're wondering why, that's because the Endgame video is shot at the time, these videos are all shot two weeks before so thank you guys for watching WETV and we will see you in the next video like comment subscribe Easter thank you guys for watching WETV if you want to see more let's talk with Wayne and Blake click the video at the top also click below to get subscribed and check the link in the description for the stuff we featured in this video hope to check out the skits on Wednesday